Hey church, it's me, Chip. This is our final installment of our What If series. Hope you've been enjoying these devotions. Hey, we're going to finish with a really great one. What if Abraham settled too soon? In fact, we kind of have a little bit of a highlight that maybe this did happen a little bit. Genesis chapter 11, verse 31. Terah, it's Abram's dad, took his son Abram, his grandson Lot, son of Haran, and his daughter-in-law Sarai, the wife of his son Abram, and together they set out from Ur of the Chaldeans to go to Canaan. But when they came to Haran, they settled there. Hmm. So what if Abraham had settled too soon? In case you're new to all this, Abraham was commanded by God to leave the land of his forefathers and to go to a place that God would show him. This would eventually be Canaan, also known as the land of promise. But as we read from our story, when he's halfway there, the temptation is strong to stay in the place of comfort, also known as Haran. And his dad's there and Lot is there as well with his wife, and wouldn't it be so tempting just to, to settle too soon? You could probably guess where I'm going with all this, because Abraham is our father in the faith. And if you read the rest of the Bible, he gets shout outs all over the place for his willingness to leave a place of comfort in order to pioneer a path for others to follow. At one point, he faces this huge crisis when God asks him to offer up his only son, Isaac, who, by the way, is the miracle child of promise. And he wants him to lay him down on the altar, offer him as a sacrifice, which is what all the pagans of his time were doing, child sacrifice. And Abraham had every reason to say, God, you, you, you've deserted me. What is going on here? But thankfully, God provides a substitute animal sacrifice in the end. And we have this great foreshadowing picture of what Jesus did on the cross. So how does all this apply to us? Not settling in the place of comfort, but holding out for the place of promise. And I don't know how we do this, but for whatever reason, we tend to think that we somehow graduate from taking massive risks for God. We pile up story after story of his faithfulness in our lives. And yet when he tells us it's time to step out of our comfort zone again, we think up a thousand excuses of why we can't possibly do such a thing. <laughs> And guess what? God is a God who is always on the move. Remember, it's him that's in the pillar of cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night later on in the story of the Exodus. So we can't settle too soon. There's always a massive promise waiting. And I believe it's worth the sacrifice. I'm praying for you, believing that every step of faith that God is calling you to, he's going to provide a way for you. Lord Jesus, thank you for faith rising up, even as I'm speaking these words right now. And as we face our day today, Lord, would you give us faith in the face of fear that we wouldn't settle too soon. We wouldn't settle for comfort over promise that we'd be willing to make those sacrifices if need be. God bless you, church. Have a really great day. I'll see you soon.